Across the country, Ukrainians woke to explosions lighting up the dawn sky. Millions of Ukraine's children have had to flee their homes since the war began. Two thirds of them are now displaced. 92% of Gaza housing has been damaged. Hundreds of thousands of parents in Gaza struggling to feed their children. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, these children have had experiences that are hard to heal from. It is so devastating to see what we as a world can do to each other and especially how children uh, are caught in the middle of this with the wars in Gaza and Ukraine, in Sudan and the DRC. The numbers of children in uh, areas of, of armed conflicts are just rising very, very rapidly. What can we do to contribute to reducing that suffering? War Child is an international humanitarian organization that supports children affected by armed conflict, but also their parents or their families, the communities or the schools that they go to. And we do that primarily through uh, supporting children in their mental health and psychosocial well-being, by uh, supporting them in their education, as well as by reducing the child protection risks that they are faced with. So we want to have scientific proof that we are offering services that we know actually improves the lives of children, that we have scientific proof that, that it works. We have a whole suite of, of 11 interventions that together make up a system of care. Team Up is a mental health promotion intervention. At the moment, Team Up is in 26 countries. The aim of Team Up is to improve positive aspects such as well-being, social connectedness, and emotion regulation. And we do that by bringing groups of children together to do movement-based activities, often recreational or play-based activities, following quite a clear sequence of steps. Playing is so important for kids, but the kind of play that kids usually do in the normal context in their houses with their siblings, that's, that's a kind of normal play, but Team Up that's a guided play. We have a routine, feeling the body, feeling the environment, focusing on others, making sure that we are not doing harm and breathing at the same time. The sessions, they are all organized around psychosocial themes that are important to children affected by armed conflict. So for example, dealing with stress, creating friendships, uh, dealing with anger. So we are trying to teach them how to respect each other, how to respect the boundaries, how to be considerate, how to be mindful, accepting the differences between each other. Team Up creates a safe space, literally in the physical meaning of the word. So we are telling you that you will be in the safe space at the same time with the same people and facilitators playing the same Team Up that you know every day. Most mental health interventions or psychosocial interventions are verbally based. Team Up stands out for being largely non-verbal we keep finding in our research that social connectedness is potentially one of the strongest predictors of children's well-being. So again, the, the use of play and games and activities really fosters that sense of social connectedness. Growing up in, in situations of distress, such as war and, and violence, there can be a, a tendency to actually withdraw. So uh, having play and activities actually counters that and allows for activation. It allows for modulating stress through the physiological reactions of working with the body.
ubundi wabaga ubona ari umwana utishime mbese ukamubaza Yesu urarwaka kugira hoya kabona ntashaka gukina nubwo yaba ari kugenda akagenda ari mu bandi kabona hararahagarara nk'igipupe atari mu shuri baraza tugamo tikumva dushaka timwa tutaramenya timwa pyaje Tima, Maje kujya muri tima pure byo byose nana kimwe nongeye gukora navo mu kwishuri n'umwe kintu twakiye muri tima pu nayibuka na kare wa bagenzi wanje kajya kuyigishiriza ku kibuga nza kugenda ngana nawe andirimbira abo muturirimbo bona yuko hari ukuntu byamuhaye kwishima kandi noneho ubona yuko yagize urukundo kuri bagenzi biwe rero mbona yuko imikino akina muri team up ari kinini yamukoreye mu buzima we with this grant, really want to understand whether this intervention is effective, but also how is it effective or how could we improve the effectiveness of, it, of this intervention. We've done two studies back to back, one in Uganda and one in Burundi. And both studies follow children before they participate in Team Up as well as uh, afterwards. And then it compares it to a group of children that is the control group that actually doesn't participate in Team Up. So those are our number of improvements that we're seeing when comparing before to after changes uh, when participating in Team Up. The study in Burundi showing that 24 sessions of Team Up is so much better than 12 sessions really helps us to know, look, we do need to uh, do that small additional investment to have more sessions being offered because we really get much more uh, return for that. In humanitarian settings, there's increasing proof for the effectiveness of treatments, but not so much for these mental health promotion interventions that are aimed to reach whole populations of children and um, trying to improve uh, uh, the overall population well-being we've been able to demonstrate uh, that Team Up seems to do that. I hope that we reach a, a, a stage where it's sustainable. I'm really hoping that kids can experience Team Up for longer times because that will have an excellent impact on them. <laughs> Implementing team up is an amazing experience. When you see the, the kids smiling, when you see them very happy, having a very short time to escape all the harsh reality that they are living in, it was very rewarding, I would say. I am entirely surprised by the resilience. If you just look at children in the most difficult context that I think a child can grow up in, and yet they manage to, to laugh, to play together, that's really what keeps me going and, and doing the work that we're doing. I see that science and research has a role to play here. Research can be a vehicle 
to make sure that we are offering the best possible care, that we are offering services that we know actually improves the lives of children, that we have scientific proof that it works and that we know how we could even do a better job at improving the lives of children.